Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Are you listening? Ricky J Sports. What is going on, my fellow YouTubers? This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports, and welcome to a UFC Fantasy League Season 4 update after three events. And yes, right on the screen, you're seeing after two events, because that's what the standings look like after two events. But ever since UFC 205 ended and the dust cleared and everything settled, there has been a huge shakeup in the standings. But before UFC 205, this is what the standings look like. You had Stuart Fondue in first with the awesome Ashley Jolly, Max Sawyer, James Bondage, the Kamikaze 24, Mark Chavez, Pat Memphis, just to name a few, rounding out the top five, top six. But after UFC 205, remember, we predicted on four fights. This is what it looks like right now. Buckle up. Oh yeah, you kind of have to rub the eyes and say, what just happened, Ricky? There's a huge shakeup in the order. Brett DM4 was the huge winner in the last event. He had 200 points, but also Lucas Brodingham, who's the new leader right now. Could he get the title, man? Because the next event is the last event. And he did well. And look at who's in second. Ben Delatushi. <laughs> I love that name. And I'm tied in second too. Yeah, you gotta I gotta give myself a pat on the back for predicting that Conor McGregor fight. And then you got Brett DM4, Pat Memphis, Burt Mercer, Stuart Fondue dip from first. Now he's in tight and fourth. And Tuxedo Mask, and the list goes on. And things were just so crazy after UFC 205. Now, the one fight I want to talk about was the Thompson Woodley fight. Now, if you picked decision in any way, if you said there was a decision, Thompson won by decision or Woodley by decision, you still got 20 points. Yes, you still got 20 points because you predicted how the fight ended and it was going to end by a decision. And then you also predicted the correct round. So I did give you 20 points for that. Also, if you picked... If you picked Weidman by decision, which a lot of you did, I gave you 10 points because you did predict the correct round because it did end in the third and final round. So just a couple of quick pointers there if you're wondering, why do I have uh, an extra 10 or 20 points? Those are the reasons why. I think that's fair. So there's one more event, and that event is... UFC 206 in Toronto, baby. I think it's only fitting that we have the final fight card to be a big event. And I think UFC 206 in Toronto, my hometown, where I'm from, where I live, where I pay my taxes, people. I'm hoping to get tickets to go there live but it's Daniel Cormier versus Anthony Johnson and then Max Holloway versus Anthony Pettis I think those are the two fights we're going to cover and I'm hoping they're going to be epic just like the last fight card so I'll pop out a prediction video closer to that event so there's going to be a, a couple week delay you know three week break with the UFC Fantasy League but I will pop out the the prediction video for UFC 206 in the next couple weeks. All right, people, everybody has a chance of winning. It is all up in the air. Who is going to be crowned the new UFC Fantasy League champion for season four? It's going to be crazy, and you will get your prize if you win, man. I am so pumped up, man. And maybe I'll do some prizes for second and third. Nothing big, nothing crazy. Maybe a little Ricky J poster that I can mail you. How about that? Anyhow, people, thank you so much for your support. You guys are the best every single day. I respect and appreciate you all, man. Oh, yeah. All right, baby. This is Ricky J, baby, from Ricky J Sports. And you are awesome.